Last week, we talked about the importance of understanding gel viscosity and even different colors of gel to be able to choose the right one for the different parts of a service that we're going to be doing. When we get into artificial enhancements, it's important to be able to efficiently choose what we're going to use and when, and also know how to use it to make your appointment as streamlined as possible. So today I'm gonna to break down for you guys exactly how to create the extension portion of an artificial enhancement using nail forms and a thicker viscosity of gel. Hey guys, Liz from The Nail Hub here, and today we're going to start doing gel extensions, gel nail enhancements, creating artificial length using gel, and I wanted to start just breaking this down piece by piece. So today we're just going to talk about how we extend the nail using a nail form, because I find that this is actually a part where a lot of people struggle. A lot of people, they go to apply the gel and they go to take the nail form off and the whole entire nail length that they just created cracks off or they're not quite sure about how to create a C curve, or they're not quite sure about how to create the different types of shapes. So the easiest way to start is we're gonna start with a square nail. We are going to get into different shapes as we move forward with extensions, but today I just wanted to focus on how do we create that part that is going to be the artificial length using nail forms and gel. Instead of using tips, which I've talked about in previous videos, I really wanna show you guys how to do it at the most expert level way because I know that there are lots of um, there are lots of things out there like reverse forms or glue on nail tips or the full coverage ones like I've seen Opre make and those things are really awesome because they allow you to create extensions very quickly. However, in my humble opinion, they're a little bit like training wheels on a bike. You don't really know how to ride the bike if you constantly use train training wheels. So to me, those types of products are a little bit like training wheels for nail technicians. They don't teach you how to actually make nail enhancements. And then when you go and you try to advance in your career or you try to advance in your skill set, you're gonna be a little bit held back by not knowing how to actually create an enhancement from scratch just using a nail form and the gel that you're going to be using. So I'm going to skip over all of those, those kind of quick trick fix it type of products and I'm going to show you guys how to do this, in my personal opinion, the right way. And you guys are gonna be able to do everything under the sun once you understand this part, okay? So we're gonna to go to expert level nails right away. I'm gonna show you guys step by step how to do this. And then really you're gonna be able to do anything below that because now you're already gonna be operating at top notch and anything that you want to use to make your job faster, easier, whatever, you can go ahead and do that, but at least you're gonna know how to do things at that perfect professional level so that you're going to be able to advance beyond that if you ever do want to get into anything else, okay? And I can tell you from firsthand experience as someone who has taken those crazy, you know, extreme shape classes or, um, you know, doing cover nails or being able to teach all of these different things, it's really important to understand how to do it properly. And then if you want to use those shortcut products, you can absolutely do that after the fact. But I really want you guys to understand how to ride a bike without training wheels. And that's what doing gel nails with nail forms is all about. All right. So if you have not already watched my video about nail preparation, I want you guys to very closely watch me do this. Um, I do suggest you go back and you watch all of my videos about base coat, etc., because it is important for you to understand how to properly prep your nail um, before you get into doing enhancements. And it's also important to understand how to apply base coat properly so that all of the work that we're gonna do into creating a longer nail is going to last. The foundational pieces to making a good enhancement really come down to preparation, the products that you're applying to the natural nail and also your base coat. If those things are not done properly, then nothing you put on top is going to go well. We want to take the corners off so that we don't impact the actual shape of the nail form and we don't create artificial bulk when we go to apply our product on. So just make sure that you take off the corners of your nail. And I do recommend that you take down your natural length to about this length of nail, especially if you have any type of curvature in your nail. So if your nail naturally curves down, or let's say you have a ski jump nail and your nail goes up like this, you want to shorten your nail down as much as possible so that your natural shape and length is not affecting 
the overall nail that you're going to create, okay? So leave a little bit of a lip so that you can have something to put your nail form under. You can also do nail forms on super short nails, but for the sake of making this easy, leave a little bit of length on your natural nail, okay? Then we're gonna go through and lightly prep the nail. And again, watch my video on nail prep because I'm gonna skip over this part and I'm just gonna go through and remove the natural shine. Okay, so my nail is perfectly chalky from side to side. I wanna make sure that even next to the cuticle area, my nail is perfectly prepped. And it's important to notice that I don't have any crazy texture to it. It's just 180 grit, very, very lightly over the surface. You can also use a bit to do this if you wanna use a diamond bit, um, but I just used a hand file in this particular situation. So we want our nail to be nice and chalky before we apply anything. Okay, then I'm going to apply my nail form. And if you haven't watched my video on nail forms, please do so, because then you'll be able to see exactly how to apply this nail form. You'll notice that I do have a nice straight angle on my nail form so that I'm able to create a nice straight, C, um, nice straight curve with my square nail. My natural pointers do actually curve down a little bit, so I wanna counteract that by making my form nice and straight. Okay, then I'm gonna take my base gel I actually like to put my base gel on after I apply my forms because that way I'm not touching the skin when it has um, when it has a, a tacky layer on it. Or sorry, I don't you know I don't touch my fingers to the base coat or the the uncured layer. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of base coat again, scrubbing it in. Make sure that you get it worked into the nail plate. And if it gets on the form a little bit, don't worry. That's totally fine as well. Okay, so you should be able to see a little bit of texture in the nail. Really take this time to mush that gel into the nail plate. And then you're gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, now that my base coat is cured, I'm gonna take a nice thick gel. I'm gonna put some on my brush. So you can see that this gel doesn't self-level at all. It's not dripping, it's not moving. It's just nice and thick. And this is what I'm going to create the length of my nail. So today we're just gonna focus on creating the actual length and shape. And I'm gonna start with a square nail or even like a slightly tapered square nail. You'll see how um, the middle part gets straightened a little bit better. But I'm just gonna show you guys how to create the actual length part first because I want you guys to practice this. This is usually the part where a lot of people um, have a hard time. So the key is, if we look at this nail from the side, the key is, is that we have our natural height of our nail here, and we have whatever length that we want to achieve, and we need to properly connect the natural nail to the artificial length that we're gonna create, okay? And we also have to take into consideration the sidewalls. We wanna make sure that the gel goes up and touches the sidewalls properly. That way we're creating that full extension all the way across, okay? So I'm just gonna start by rolling off the bead of gel in the center of the nail form, okay? So you can see it just, sitting on top of the nail like that. And then once I have the gel on there, because this is so thick, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna self-level, I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna sketch out the length and shape that I want. So I just barely touch the gel, okay? See, I just make contact. And I'm just gonna sketch, wiggle, and sketch out a square nail shape, okay? So keep contact with the, the real nail, make sure that the free edge is completely covered, go up and touch the corners, and you'll see like on the sides, I use those lines to guide and connect the real sidewall of my nail here. Okay, leave a nice dollop of gel on the sidewall and then just sketch it out so that it makes a square shape. Can you see that on the nail form? How I'm not going down and making a huge mess. I'm trying to use the guidelines on my nail form to create a nice square shape that's gonna eliminate a lot of filing. Okay, so that's what the lines are for. So then on this side, I can do the same thing. So let's touch the gel, get it over to the real sidewall, connect the artificial with the real, make a nice corner here. I also recommend going a little bit lower than your natural nail on the side so that you have room to file. And also because when we pinch it, it's gonna go down a little bit. And then just make sure that the overall length and shape is what you want, okay? So you can walk it down a little bit, make it a little bit thicker on the free edge. But really, our main points of concern, if I turn my finger to the side, our real points of concern are that this free edge of my natural nail is completely encapsulated by the product and that there's enough product there to attach it, okay? 
So make sure that that's nice and, and coated. And also that this sidewall, the corner of my real nail extends out onto the form and that there's enough product here that actually attaches. So you wanna make sure that you actually paint the gel up into the real sidewall of your nail and even go up onto the nail itself so that you have gel that connects this whole portion. And then same thing on this side. So turn your finger all the way, use your reflection. You can see where the gel is. Use your reflection. Make sure that you have a nice connection between the gel that's on the form and your real nail. Okay, can you see that? So it's shiny right there. And because this gel is thick, it's not going to seep into any gaps we have in our nail form. So if you do have a little bit of gap here in the center between your nail form and your real nail, a thick gel like this isn't going to seep in there and make a big mess. So that's why I like using thicker gel. So now we've got a nice extension made and I'm only gonna cure this for 10 seconds because I wanna show you how we can perfect this shape before we take off the form. So just cure your nails for approximately 10, maybe 15 seconds if you're using a CFL lamp. Uh, but 10 seconds in an LED should take care of it. All right, so I have my gel flash cured. I'm gonna take some tweezers and I'm gonna very gently squeeze the gel right here where the gel exits my, art my, my real nail, right where the, the, fake, the fake nail meets the real nail or the gel meets the real nail. Just gently squeeze, try and squeeze evenly on either side. And even if the, the nail form releases a little bit, it's okay but you'll see how what this does is it tucks in the sides so that I get a nice, perfectly streamlined shape from my real nail all the way out onto the gel, okay? So here, I'm just gonna gently squeeze. Don't squeeze up here because you're gonna end up hurting your real nail. Just squeeze right where the gel meets the real nail, okay? And then you can also gently squeeze all the way down, very, very gently and evenly, and then that way you're gonna get a nice pinch. And this is how we perfect our C-curve. Okay, so just gently hold it for a few seconds, and then we're gonna put this nail right back into the lamp for a full 30 second cure. Okay, so my nail is fully cured. I can take the nail form off. When I take the nail form off, I always just squeeze on the sides of the nail form, and I always tip the nail form down, and then I pull it off the finger, okay? Don't ever pull upwards, because you'll end up either hurting the nail, or you'll end up breaking it off. So now I have a, basically a fake nail, and it looks kind of crooked from the side, but let me show you guys like here, okay? So my finger is actually kind of crooked, so I like to try and make the nail look as straight as possible, and it looks a little bit wonky right now because I've got this, this thick, uneven gel on here, but it actually looks pretty dang good. Once we get it filed and shaped, it'll be perfect. And also, because we did that nice pinching, we're gonna have a nice C-curve underneath this nail that we're creating. So the pinching really helps to get the corners of the nail, the pinching really helps to get the corners of the nail tucked in. I've got a little bit more thickness in the gel right here from where I, I applied some to the corner, but you can see when I squeeze this, I get like a nice even square nail on here and it's gonna look really good once we get all of the gel applied, okay? Um, filing will take care of any bulk that you have on the side, so if you do have bulk, more bulk on one side than the other, don't worry about that. Right now what we're trying to do is just create this artificial extension on the, on the form so that we're able to build our gel on top of this. So here we've got base coat, here we've got our thick extension gel that we use, and you can see that we've already got an overall square shape. So we've got nice straight sidewalls that were a little bit lower than the, um, than the real sidewall of our real nail. So we're gonna be able to file this and make this perfect, and it gives us room to file. And same thing on the other side, we've got the gel coming straight out into a square shape as if we had glued on a plastic nail tip, but we do have the corners of our nail encapsulated. All right, guys, so that's just the first part of us getting into extensions. And again, I wanted to break this down step by step so that you have time to practice each portion because sometimes when we try to do everything all at once, it gets really, really difficult to remember each step. So I wanted you guys just to watch this video specifically. Next time we're gonna actually be creating the body of the nail and we're gonna be going into how we actually create the full shape of the nail on top of the extension that we just created. And then I'm also gonna show you how to make different shapes 
using the same techniques, but we're gonna change the shape of our nail form, okay? So practice this extension technique, practice getting extensions on so that they don't come off when you actually remove the nail form. Make sure that you've got enough thickness and that you're completely encapsulating the corners and the free edge and concentrate on using the nail form to create the overall shape you're going to create. So start with a square nail. We're gonna get into different shapes later, but just start with a square nail first. Just practice doing these extensions, and then you can even just clip it off with uh, nail clippers, practice again, put another nail form underneath it, and practice, 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 okay? I want you guys to practice this this week so that next week when we go into doing the actual full portion of the nail and creating the apex and all of that, you guys are gonna be well prepared. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.